What's up guys? Quick little video. I guess you could call this a product review. I bought this at the local AutoZone. This is a uh, Anova Fix Assist, model number 3215RS something something. Basically, it's just a Bluetooth dongle that plugs into your OBD port. Um, you can check your codes and all that stuff. But it actually comes with a lot more information than that. And I was actually pretty impressed with it. So I figured I'd show you guys how this works. So basically, under here, you have uh, this. And now there's two different modes of Bluetooth. You have regular Bluetooth, and then you have what they're what they're calling BLE, which is Bluetooth Low Energy. Um, it's a little weird how, how some of these BLEs work because your phone won't pick it up under Bluetooth, but if you use your, open your app, the app will pick it up. So you just stick this up from underneath. Uh, where is it? Hold on. There it is. All right, so that goes there. Then, take your phone. Hold on. Oh, you guys can't read my passcode. Enabling BOE. Pairing. Update required. Of course there is. So basically, this thing does uh, check engine codes. It'll do T TPMS for your tire pressure uh, sensors. Um, you can do live data streams. It'll give you information in real time, like um, uh, fuel pressure, engine load, uh, O2 sensors, left bank, right bank. Um, it's actually pretty informative. Um, but what I like is it'll tell you how many miles are in your vehicle, what repairs are coming due, uh, when your next oil change is due. Um, it also goes into recalls. Uh, re what recalls are applicable to your car per VIN number. And it actually gives you in detail, step by step, on how to fix um, those recalls. Um, gives you your vehicle history report. Um, tells you if you can pass emissions. It's pretty cool. It, it's not just a basic uh, code reader. There's a lot more to it. You can clear your codes, obviously. All right, so what we're doing right now, because I swapped over to a new phone, I had to redo, uh, reinstall the app on my new phone, um, find the dongle through the um, Bluetooth. But this is what they call BLE, Bluetooth Low Energy. So um, some phones won't pick this up when they do a Bluetooth scan to connect to a device. But when you open the app, the app will... Uh, link it to your Bluetooth um, Because I put this on my new phone uh, It's now currently doing a firmware update And we're at 77% But what I like about this and I picked this up at I think my local I don't remember if it was AutoZone or Advanced Auto. I think it was AutoZone But this is a uh, Innova 3215RS Fix Assist. That's what it's called But this isn't just a basic code reader Um this thing does a lot more than that. This gives you um, live data streams. It'll tell you um, your fuel pressure, your engine load, um, air fuel ratio, um, oxygen sensor output. I, it, it does quite a bit. But if you look at this box, right? I try to focus this in. You can, yes, you can obviously check all your engine codes. You can clear them. Um, it tells you. Um, depending on your VIN, what recalls are on your vehicle. It also gives you actually step-by-step step instructions on how to uh, perform the recall. Um, it does a predictive repair mode. Um, depending on your vehicle, it'll say, well, uh, a water pump on these cars at 70,000 miles is a common thing. You might want to look into that. This is how much... Um, this is the estimate for how much that repair cost. 
Um, it's actually, I'm actually pretty impressed. This isn't like a just a basic code reader. Um, it does quite a bit. Like I said, it, it does the recalls, tells you how to fix the recalls, tells you if you're going to pass emissions. Um, your TPMS, tire pressure monitor sensor, that's all on there. You can clear those codes. Um, if you got to change the sensor, like you change a wheel, um, you can mate that to your system, the new sensor. Uh, airbags are on there. The live data stream, uh, streaming live data, is actually a pretty cool feature. When you're going down the road and you want to see what your uh, air fuel ratio is, your engine load, fuel pressure, um, all the logs from your O2 sensors, all, all that information is on there. So we're now updating. Update complete, firmware, successful, blah, 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 hit OK. So now it's checking for, all right, scan to tap car, right? Scan. Quick scan, scan all systems. This takes a little bit longer, but <clears throat> it's going to scan everything. So keep your vehicle on, stay near your vehicle and tool, do not close the RS2 to app do not turn off your bluetooth downloading profile so when you do the full scan it, it takes a little bit longer um, but it does give you a lot of information this is pretty cool um, so say you, you, you're you using this in your car you're driving on the road your check engine light comes on well you're not paying a mechanic or shop diagnostic fees and labor rates and all that you can do it yourself if it says, uh, you know, depending on the code, say it's like an O2 sensor. Well, now you know what it needs. So now it's scanning and thinking. and All that information is about to pop up. The other thing I'm going to do is let you guys know, for those of you who haven't done it yet, um, my car came, it didn't have a touch screen, but it did come with that factory radio with the uh, Uconnect, the, the basic radio, not, not the... Not the touch screen. Um, the problem I was having was that the FM was cutting out. FM audio would just, once the car warmed up, FM audio would cut out. I could still use like uh, Sirius XM and play a CD and all that. But for whatever, and connect to my Bluetooth through my phone, and it would play it all day long. But FM just kept cutting out. So this is a Kenwood DDX3. I don't know. I picked it up. I bought it for my girlfriend for Christmas for her car. Uh, we never had it installed because she's we're actually getting a new car, so she let me put it in mine. But it's a pain in the ass, and I'm going to walk you guys through that process because in order to make these buttons um, channel up, volume up and down, connect with that, you need a module. I already had to put one module back there to make it talk to the car to make it work um, with the factory amp and all that. Um, there's a product out there called Maestro 99, I believe it's called. Um, and it connects through your ECM. So, on this, I have options, right? So, if I go home, uh, let's see, go here. Nope, hold on, bear with me. That one? Yeah. So, this one here is OEM features, right? This is the option that lets you run gauges, right? Your factory gauges and climate control, parking assist, telephone, media player, satellite radio, radar detector. I'm more interested in the OEM features because I want those gauges to pop up on my screen. I can't do that without the Maestro module, but we're going to get into that. That's a story for another day. But this is a double dense stereo. Would not physically fit into my dash because the bracing back under the dash, I literally had to take a Dremel and open it up. Probably about that much to make it fit. The install kit, I, I was not happy with the install kit, the, the plate system. It was cheap. It, it just, I mean, it looks nice. It does its job. It does what it's supposed to do, but... Um, it, it, it's better than what I had in here before. I will say that. But anyway. Alright, let's see. Where are we at? Alright, please provide your current mileage. So we did the scan. Right? Already found out what our current mileage is. And then you just click on continue. 
generating report. Okay, so here's what we got. Engine, uh, what needs attention, maintenance, predicted repairs. So we're going to, hold on, bear with me, i got to pull my glasses on here. I'm old. Uh, let's click on engine. No powertrain DTCs or freeze frame data is presently stored in your vehicle's computer. So we have no active codes. That's a good thing. I'll click on next. Okay. Uh, battery status, 12 and 11 volts. Um, so I do have a B1660, which is my front fog lamp control circuit high. And that's because when I bought this car, I had aftermarket LED Chinese bulbs that with they don't even have part numbers on them. So one of the bulbs is bad. I can't even replace it because I can't get a part number. But whatever. Wiper park switch input circuit low. That's new. Uh, EPS electric power steering and plausible data received from ABS. Uh, I don't know. Hands-free module. That's because of the radio with my headset and my phone. So now we're going to go to maintenance. Do at 70,000 miles. Engine oil and filter. Inspect brake lines and hoses, inspect cooling system, inspect exhaust system, rotate tires, which I already just did. Inspect tire wear and adjust tire pressure. Okay. So that's the maintenance mode. Hit next. Predicted repairs. Based on our data, it is likely that the following repairs will be required for your vehicle within 12 months or 15,000 miles. Thermostat. Probability, 22%. Replace emission system integrity monitor. 17% probability. Replace ignition coil and spark plugs, 12% probability. Oxygen sensors, replace oil pressure switch. So it, it kind of gives you, based on your car, um, what the most common repairs are. I'm actually surprised water pump's not in there because that's one of them, which mine was already done. So we're going to click on next. Which takes us into... Um, this is all your different modes, your different modules. Wireless control module, cabin compartment node, steering wheel, steering angle sensor, passenger door module, module, climate control, passive entry module, engine control module, driver door module, all passed. Okay. Next. <clears throat> now we're going to get into TSB and recalls, right? So on 7-17-2014, customer satisfaction notification, P01, engine timing chain, and chain guide. Um, that is one. So if you click on one of these, right? So you could click on it. Now it's going to give you a PDF file of that recall. Um, this is for, this particular one is for a 2009-2012 model year. Challenger Charger and the Chrysler 300. Um... Like this, for instance, says the engine timing chain guide on about 3,803 of the above vehicles may fracture. A fracture timing engine timing chain guide could cause the engine timing chain to break, uh, blah, 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 blah. But now if you scroll down, it gives you the part number for the update kit. It tells you what it comes with. Gasket, engine timing cover, O-ring for the oil pickup tube, a tensioner for the timing chain, a guide for the timing chain, a new timing chain. Um... Tells you what else is involved to do that repair. Engine, oil, uh, coolant, um, RTV sealant. And then it'll actually get into instructions. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that repair yourself. I mean, which is kind of... Um, if it's a recall, you don't have to do it. You're just going to take it to a dealership and they're going to do it for you, free of charge. But um, gives you a lot of information here. So then if we go back, these are the other recalls, right? Oh, what I hit? I hit something. TSP report. This is for uh, seat wiring harness connectors. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't even know about that. But based on your VIN, these are um, the safety recalls or TSP bulletins for your vehicle. Then you can hit next. 
So now you can do live data. I thought this was pretty cool. All right, so these are the parameters you can choose um, as your load value. Um, let's see, RPM we don't need. So we could do fuel trim bank one, um, intake air temperature, absolute throttle position, oxygen bank sensor, control module voltage. So hit continue. And it brings you all that information in real time, which, that's cool. But I thought this was a pretty cool uh, little kit. I think this cost, I think it was like 60 bucks. Um, but it's worth it. You know, if I'm driving down the road and my check engine light comes on, and I want to know why, I can do it myself. You're not taking it to a shop and paying them. It comes with, well, it says two free apps included. They're not included. They're not like, there's not like a coupon code in the box. It just tells you what the name of it is. You go to the, the Play Store for Android, and uh, they're free. The other one is called Gaged, which is kind of cool. It's a neat idea, um, but it's limited. With the free edition, you're only allowed like three gauges at a time. I played with it. Yeah, it's cool, but I'm more interested in um, being able to bring up the gauges on my screen through here on my head unit. But I need to install the Maestro module in here. Um, and also, I'm getting the taser because I want line lock. Um, I want to be able to use, uh, it's one of the buttons on this side. I don't know if it's cruise control on or off, or it's one of these buttons. Um, uh, push in the clutch, put it in gear, put my foot on the brake, hold that button. I can take my foot off the brake and I have line lock it, working through the, uh, factory ABS system, which is pretty cool. So when, when I want to heat up my tires at the track, I can get them nice and hot and so there's that. Uh, we're also going to be looking at um, installing two-step uh, Barton shifter because this this has got to go. When I'm banging gears, I have a tendency to just I don't know this part here. Yeah, it's whatever. But yeah, Barton shifter is on the way. Um, looking into. Uh, there's a company, I can't buy Demon Springs without providing a VIN number, but I don't own a Demon. Uh, but there's a company that makes reproduction coil springs based on the same coil diameter and spring rate as a Demon Springs. So we're going to be running literally Demon Springs front and back, um, Hellcat axles. They're a lot thicker than these factory ones. Um, we're going to be updating the bushings and the cradle br brace. And that we're updating the cradle bushings and installing a cradle brace but all that's coming down the line it's in the works and but anyway i just wanted to show you guys this i thought this was pretty cool i picked it up at autozone i think you can get it like pet boys or o'reilly's or any of those things um anova makes it it's a model number 3215 rs they are there are different packages there's different models that do different things that this is like 60 bucks um but I thought it was pretty cool for everything this thing does. It's very informative. And uh, clear your own codes. You don't have to take it to your car to a shop to have someone else tell you what's wrong with your car. You already know. Pretty cool.